Alright, so today I'm going to be explaining spawns a little bit more in depth um, than most people do. Um, I'll be explaining how to identify a good spawn using nothing but underwater landmarks, um, which I know a lot of people have um, usually struggle with. So we're going to hop straight into a world, um, and we're going to go around and see some common landmarks um, that would indicate either a good or a bad spawn. Let's see what we got here. This is a bad spawn. Cool. Now, there were a bunch of landmarks that told me it. Mostly it was this wreck. This wreck is one that's really far out to the east and um, honestly it's just a big waste of time. Um, now, I'm gonna go around the shallows and kind of um, show a bunch of these bad or good landmarks. Uh, what I do recommend you do is disable console and then go ahead and type in um, free cam and this will allow you to basically just fly around you can use the numbers one to five to um, give you different speeds so I'm gonna be using this to kinda show off a bunch of the shallows areas there are a lot of spawns that are by this trench area this trench area is not a place you wanna spawn again it's too far to the east and too far south um, and it's right next to this brain coral. This is like a circular formation with a brain coral in the middle of it. It's very, it's very, very, um, unique in this sense. So if you see this, then it's, it's usually not a good thing. Um, we're going to keep going south to indicate more bad spawns. This set of kelp forest, I call this the V kelp, mostly because it's kind of like in the shape of a V. Um, you see the two trenches kind of colliding. Um, if you see these trenches in the kelp, then it's not really a good thing. Again, you're too far south at that point. Um, this pillar over here is also indicative of, of a very bad spawn. Um, this is, again, way too far south. And this pillar that just sticks up in the middle of nowhere, it's a very good landmark. We're going to come over here. This wreck is also another landmark of badness um it's right by the south geyser and we all know the south geyser is a pit of garbage so if you see this wreck it's generally not a good thing however if you see this wreck and if it's creative then it's an amazing spawn so good job over here we have a little formation here that involves this, this little uh this little bridge it forms a little archway this is a terrible spawn you never want to see this arc or arch depending on how you say it we're gonna keep going this wreck right here is also indicative of a bad spawn if you see this wreck then you're too far south it's right next to the V kelp right here you can see again kind of forming that V you won't get any spawns like directly on top of it but you can get spawns like uh, right here for example this is the bad coral tube um, again, very bad spawn. You don't want to be taking these, um, if you're going for a really good run. The bad coral tube could be, um, identified from the good coral tube. Its entrances are actually not above the ground. So this one is slightly, like, in this little, this little cave area, whatever you want to call that. And then this one over here is entirely in a cave area. It's in this cave area right here. And the entrance kind of goes right into the ground right here. We're going to keep going north. This right here is starting to get to like a decent spawn. There's this great rock formation right here. Um, you will never see anything like this um, anywhere else in the shallows. This rock formation, uh, depending on which side you spawn on it, can be a good spawn or a bad spawn. It's very one of a kind. Um, and... It kind of forms like the Great Wall of China with this. Um, we can go to the other side here, and I'll show you what it looks like from the other side. If the game would load. There it goes. So that's kind of what this looks like. We can get spawns over here. Uh, these spawns are kind of really strange to try to spot. 
Um, you can get like spawns along this edge, and you can identify them by this cliff. Generally, um, it's an okay spawn. It's manageable, but not the best. Um, again, this entire thing just kind of stays as a cliff. And then it gets to like a slope here, and then you're back into terrible spawn territory because that's the bad coral tube right there. We're gonna zoom all the way back up here. Again, this is the big, um, the big rock formation. I call it the Grand Arc. Um, I think it's what I called it when I first started running. If you see this coral tube, it's generally a sign of good things. Um, almost every single speedrunner will take spawns that are by this um, coral tube. And it's it's just a really good thing to spot out. You can tell it apart from the other coral tube because neither of the entrances are in a cave system. This one is, again, pretty far above the ground. And this one is actually right next to a kelp forest. Um, it leads directly out into the kelp forest. In fact, this over here um, is the wreck once it loads in, of course. This would be the wreck that you would find sea glide fragments at. I'm going to head back over here and identify some more good spawns. Again, anywhere that you can see the coral tube, very nice spawn. Um, this spawn is a little bit tough to identify. Um, there's a bunch of different landmarks around here that can kind of help. Um, if you see like this like U-shaped kelp forest, it's a good sign. Anywhere like along this U-shape is pretty good and definitely easily manageable. So I can see that from like the spawn, kind of see like part of it. Um, you can kind of see like, this is what I call the pillars area. This is These are like okay spawns, these are late game spawns because you're going to be very close to the rocket. The rocket placement is right here by the way. So with the pillar spawns over here, um, not the other pillar, the bad pillar, these are the good pillars. These pillar spawns are pretty good. They're just pillars sticking up in the middle of nothing, pretty much. This is the amphitheater, as Aki calls it. Um, some people call it the low ceiling cave. It's got four entrances on it, and it does really look like an amphitheater. It's a very good spawn um, in most cases. And then you get over back over here, um, where you get this ridge. It's pretty close to a good spawn. It's manageable, um, but definitely not ideal. We're going to head back north a little bit and find this wreck. This wreck here is uh, it's really mediocre. It's a great late game spawn if you can manage it, but if you see this wreck um, from like this angle, um, I would just instantly reset this. But of course, if you're new, then you could definitely manage this spawn. Again, um, by the way, this is a, the cave where you would find the backup. Um, it's right next to the wreck. And if you look, there's like little ridges in the ground. It's the second ridge to the left of the wreck. I know a lot of people have trouble finding this one, but there are your two sandstone right in there. That's one of the backup caves. We're going to head over here and find the biggest landmark of all, the freaking geyser. This is the north geyser. This is the god of resources right here. Um, this is where we get all of our resources, pretty much. Um, and if you see the North Geyser, you should probably take it. Um, depending on your category, definitely, and what you're trying to accomplish. It's right next to the U-shaped kelp forest, and, um, it's just a big freaking hole in the ground, and there's lava spewing up from it, so it's very hard to miss the North Geyser. We're gonna set it to daytime again. These spawns up here, these are wreck spawns. Um, the geyser is right there, and there's the U-shaped kelp forest. The coral tube is right over there, uh, over yonder. These are manageable. A lot of people hate them, including Salve. Um, I'll usually take a north spawn if I get one. The way to identify them is you're kind of in between two kelp forests, um, with a ridge going right in between them, which makes sense for how the shallows works. And that's pretty much all the landmarks um, that I'll go over. Um, 
if you want to go around and try to find landmarks of your own um, that's what I did to kind of get started um, you can also use the command fog which removes all of the water um, and it's very useful for helping you see long distances um, so yeah we get the coral tube spawns all this and that's that's pretty much all I'll go over today